Wild one people, Lou Manny here, back again with another Barrow AFC career mode episode. We had a, we didn't take any losses last episode, but we did, one second, I've just got to minimise my recording, but we did uh, draw two games, which isn't too bad. Obviously, we've still got our buffer at the top of the table. Uh, we've got another youth scout report coming through. Howell's now up to 79 to 87, so he's definitely going to be coming in. Benjamin Thornton, 71 to 79. I would contemplate getting rid of him. Hugo Thomas, we still need to wait until we know. So, Gibbons. Perry's almost done as a central midfield training, so he would be a good player to bring in. Same with Garner's almost done with his wingback training, so he's going to be a player that's going to be coming through. Got another scout report. We got anyone special here? Got another goalkeeper. 1.1 million value. He's definitely coming in. You're not. You're not. Gonna bring this lad in because he's six foot six. 61 rated goalkeeper coming in already. Bobby Powell, mate, you've already got your first bit of competition. This guy's gonna immediately be called up. And we're actually gonna compare him quickly against Lilith. Right, so he's got better diving, better handling, better kicking, and better reflexes than Lilith already. Less speed and less positioning. This is interesting. He doesn't have any of the traits. Oh, Lillis is cautious with crosses. I actually didn't know that's a thing. Well, Lillis, that's very interesting. It's the same for uh, Bobby. That's very interesting that they've instantly, literally as we were talking about it at the end of last episode, they've now instantly got a uh, competition. He's also six foot three. So we're going to put him on the... Uh, sweeper keeper development. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. Samuel Perry, I'm very excited about because he's 74 to 88 potential, so there's a very good chance that he's going to come out as a decent central midfielder. We're going to wait on the rest of the lads. Bobby Powell, mate. I literally was just saying how he's going to be our starting keeper, probably, and now. That's just happened. Radford have dropped down, but obviously I need to repair my heart from the knee, the knee, the Lee Novak heartbreak that I've had. So we're going to sim this first game against Exeter. Obviously our last sim game ended with a 2-2 draw against Harrogate. So hopefully this game we can get away with the W, that'd be nice. Canoe. Nice early Jones. In the play from the man, up to the edge Good the use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And there it is! And seven minutes the of the game, Luke James has got his first goal. So, so the match has restarted. One nil here. Not saying too upset about that. I keep saying that. I brought it back again. James, and the emphasis is on creativity. Nice into play, Arnie, oh, into Jones, and we're two 0 up, eighteen minutes in. This could be something for extra if things continue this way. Let's not get too overexcited, just in case we do have a couple of mistakes in us. But right now, and he read it well. looking very positive. Also, I have to say, I'm loving the Xbox Series X load speed. Absolutely incredible. Revelation from the last Xbox. My, my Xbox One was the first ever Xbox version released. So I don't have a pro or anything like what that. So it's, it's been slowing down a lot. Well Austin Gale continuing this goal scoring streak from last well, episode. Read them up. Exeter, you're in now, trouble, lad. I mean, I'll take it if we want to continue. If we want to get eight or nine. No, I'm Collins. not going to get that over Oh, because as soon as I say that, Nicky Eose goes to a goal. And now we've conceded. Clean sheets are not our strong suit. Boring goals are our strong suit. We played Sir Alex Ferguson football. Doesn't matter if you concede as long as you outscore your opponent. I thought I keep saying that. Dispossessed. 3 1, half time. Not bad. We can continue it. Get a couple more goals in this half. 
and not concede to him, well, that would be great. Be your anger. The last couple of the games at striker before you become a camp. Because that shouldn't be too long until that's completed either. We are being pressed on the wing here. This is this has been a problem for us recently. We struggle we struggle a lot to play out the press when teams turn it on. And there you go. You see a mistake at the back there again, and it's led to from the press, and it's led to us conceding. And there it is, the final whistle. We do the start off the episode of the win, but it did get a little bit nervy towards the end of that game. I'm not going to lie. I was definitely nervous. A little bit of a change-up probably okay. wouldn't be too Welcome bad. Everyone. We'll We've got a press conference now. coming in here. Can your team actually do it? It's definitely ours to lose. Which we could do because you know we have our we have flip flops in our seasons. We have flip flops. It's happened. It could probably happen again. We won six 0 the first time we played them. We need we need to stay humble. We need to stay humble. We need to make sure we can do everything right. It's the press. The press is something in Sims. It seems to get turned on at a certain point from uh, opposition. So with these buffs, Gale is technically playing at an 80 right now, isn't he? That is absolutely crazy to think about. Like he's actually playing at an 80. They've got a bit of fatigue going on in their team. Back-to-back -back sim games, not the most interesting thing in the world, but and the match is underway. let's see if we can walk away with another victory. Hopefully a little bit more of a confident victory on this one. Dunkel now going down the outside, putting the back cross what we're doing to set. Now we should be able to get away with it. Got quickly holding up the oh, nice into Beedling, into Gale, and, and Austin Gale is on an absolute scoring ball. rampage at the moment. What is going on with Austin? Absolutely incredible. Very Oh, and as I'm talking about that, Dunthorpe have equalised. We're not having the greatest games in The Sims right now, to be honest. I've seen a lot, but I guess that's not really different from the rest of our season. We have been conceding a lot all season. And it shouldn't, be, shouldn't really be surprised. I'm not going to say I'm overly happy with this game so far, to be honest. Um, I'd say we've played okay, but we haven't played amazingly. I know a bit of a rest. Mike Jones, who is our, literally known as our finishing midfielder. But it doesn't matter if Mike Jones is on, because Austin Gale's our new finishing midfielder. Come on, boys. Let's go. Last minute. Hold them up. Yes. To grind out another victory. We've also dropped points as well, which is good for us. Eight points clear now. We're going to play Mansfield and Bradford. So it's three back-to-back -back sim games. Again, I know it's not the most interesting thing in the world to watch, but... There's no point. We're trying to get through this as quick as we can so we can get as much done as we can. So I want to at least underway. get this season done. Because I've, I've dragged this season out probably a little bit too long. Oh, nice ball over the to chase. Into Luke James, and there we go. We finally make our possession count. Luke James. Nice finish. Let's go. Okay. Luke James breaks through. And he finishes. Brace for Luke James. And I think that should wrap this result up for us as well. Overhit the pass. I think that's going to do it Do it for us here. Actually didn't make any sub. That's what we got. Oh, it just can't. He might get one late here. And he does. It just can't. He add into his own um, tally for the season. Trying to keep Lee Novak behind him. And Luke James now, to be fair, with that brace. Let's just take Luke James up to 19, I think, and it's just gone up to 25. 
Possibly Novak on 22. So yeah, it's about the top goal scorers, as you can see there, 25. But Idris Carno, 22 for Lee Novak, and we do play Bradford. But also, Luke James now in there with 19, at only three behind Lee Novak now. Right, Mansfield Town, ninth place. We're going to play this game. The man of the moment, in a rich vein of form, and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA Idris Carney, 25 goals. Lee Novak, 22. Luke James, 19. A close race for six games Look left with Golden Boot winner. I'm hoping it's going to be a barrel there, but as we've seen, Lee Novak can bag a goal when he wants to. I think they're probably going to be playing pretty much the same team. Obviously, our team's pretty much the same, except we've got Lance Harris in goal. Also, what a name Lance is. Lance Harris, are you a knight? Calm down. Sorry. Um. Yeah, we've got Lance Harris in goal. So we're going to see how he does in this first game. Same team besides from that. And this, this is Mansfield the line up. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. Basically. You played in that position again. Yeah, I didn't really like it, and we always we'll go again. Back tools get up for that one. Beedling, that pick that one. Can over Tarnu. Back to James. Uh, from. James to Carnu, Carnu. No. Carnu's James, James to Carnu, but Carnu volleys wide when I thought he probably should be able to finish. Oh, that's that's creepy watching me there. Look at him. Go away. You creepy. Moving Bradley Barry across just to swamp the midfield a little bit. I'm a good Not that. I'm not 100% sure that wasn't offside. That's a good save by Harris. He's absolutely livid with the lads. Then why are you letting them get those shots away? I was going to curl inside the post. One of those shots that just spins. That's a very good save in the end, actually. And over comes the corner. Oh yes! I mean, there's four players there. No, I'm very. I'm upset about that one. I'm upset about that one. I, don't, I cannot understand how he's got that header when I'm telling Bruff to go exactly where that ball's landing. And he just doesn't. Look, what? Bruff's there. Bruff's there. Where is he going? Ah, oh, no, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. I think that's rubbish from the game. I think you've given him a goal there, to be honest. But there's no point in getting mad about it because it's not going to change anything. We're 1-0 down. Clark. This looks promising. No, come on! What are we doing there? Terrible defending. Ah, oh, it's piss poor again. This is going to be our downturn again, isn't it? Last six games of the season, this is going to be our downturn. What's Josh Kay doing? What's he doing? I, I've told him to pass the ball. I don't know what he's waiting for. Pass. Well, that's an unfortunate first half for the new lad as well. 50-50% possession. Which is not, we're not doing anything with the ball. It's, it's gone back to there just not being that penetration that we need. It's just not there. Look at this. Am I playing ultimate team? Have I actually accidentally gone online and I'm not I've not realized because I'm getting hit with all the ultimate oh here it comes <laughs> I mean I've tackled him and Jules has then auto ran into his uh, I'm out here being an idiot trying to play football right there's one back I, I just, I don't have faith that we're going to be able to, that we're going to be able to get this back. I just, I don't have faith. Get the mistakes out of them. And get forward. Yes. Right. Get that ball. Let's go again. Come on. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm skipping the stuff, so it's going to be hard to edit, but... 20 goals now. Right, come on. And again. 
James, where are you going, mate? Ah, they've won. <laughs> now we've got the rivalry game. I'm going to put Lillis back in goal. I know it's not. Um, it's not Harris's fault, but I really want to bounce back with the win. We're going to start Brown because Barry's a bit tired. Right, here we go. The game that I won, the game that really sent my season into well, turmoil in at the beginning the of the series. Unfortunately, we take a loss to Mansfield. Now we need to bounce back against Bradford. <clears throat> this is a, this game in my head. Is a massive game. game. For some reason, I'm not wearing it. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really lucky for Maybe I shouldn't both wear it. I seem to lose. Entertaining so. football. Let's see if we get is the man Lee Novak playing? That's what I'm actually. That's what I'm most interested in. Our team, we've changed Connor Brown and Bobby Burns. They're going to be starting this game. We need a bounce back mentally. We need to regroup. We can't let that one affect us too much. It's not ideal, obviously, but we can't let it affect us too much. The Novak is starting. A four-four-two, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, he's the, four players in midfield. The three but really only head three. The two wide players who is stay wide finish. and help the full backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number ten this is game slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the that. strikers. Golden boot. Very difficult to pull. It switched me off the man that I'm marking the run with. I'm marking it with Gagossi and it switched me to Bobby Burns. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit. Game. I'm put, that's all down to the game. I'm literally, I've switched to Gagossi to watch the run. Not playing well. Final third passes, but we haven't got them. James Jones An attack full of promise Takes the uh, oh! and a goal. The I literally thought he missed I literally was about to say oh Mike Jones you should have hit that better I can't believe that's gone in to be honest well, it's good play. It's a good, right, a good pass from uh, Bobby Burns. I think the keeper position. expected the man to, well, the centre back to intercept that. that. This is just a bobbling one. The centre back doesn't get it, and somehow it manages to roll into the far corner. Well, one one. And honestly, say I did not expect Even that Simmons to happen. Won a piece on this match. No then. So the whistle then, we're up the half. Oh, well, 1 1 in the game against our. Uh, my mental. Also, are currently losing to Forest Green, which is pretty good for us. All nicely, looking for that final pass. Means he sort just the body on the He's pitch. He's in control of the situation. He know that got onto that somehow. Very Pritchard's in here, Lee Novak, and they're going to score. I I literally cannot stand defending on this game. I can't stand it. Look at Kogossi here, yeah? Just intercept it. You can see I'm pressing to intercept it. <laughs> I mean, I can't stand defending on this game. It's honestly terrible. And breaking at pace with menace. Never mind, it looks like we're about to be 3-1 down. Yeah, we're going to be 3-1 down. <laughs> oh, we've been shit again. Now the delivery... Someone's got Not to get on the end of that knockdown. And that is the end. We don't deserve to lose that game. We really don't. Those two losses that we've taken, we really don't deserve them. Uh, next episode might just be a case of fully sim in the episode because I feel like if I play right now, we're just going to probably have awful games i might play the last game of the season but yeah that's going to be the end of this episode uh thanks guys and peace